Hey everyone, knife commentary video today, somewhat of a review. So I've been on the lookout for a long time for just a, a slip joint that is lightweight that I can put in my pocket and just go have part of my EDC and have no real worries about laws or anything like that um, as far as compliance with the size of the blade or what you, the locking back or any of those things that uh, you just have to be careful with, whether it needs to be clipped in or not never perfectly clear so anyways i just wanted a simple slip joint that was lightweight not bulky in my pocket but modern a lot of the slip joints you go out there and you, you look and and they have the, all the different wood styles and they have brass on them kind of like this one this one's even maybe more modern than some you see out there but this is a i consider a traditional style slip joint multiple multiple blades one big one one little one um, it has the metal or brass um, uh, part of the knife on each side it's heavy has steel throughout they're pinned often pinned in the middle this one's not bad but it's actually it's fairly heavy um, my wife got this one for me in, in Germany anyways so that this one's okay uh, but not perfect. So I've been looking around and I found this one case the case company They have a bunch of the traditional styles uh, Let's say there was 200 choices for me to look at when I was trying to find something and This is one of uh, maybe three they had that looked modern was simple and was lightweight basically, it's a slip joint that has one blade and it has carbon fiber uh, scales and so it has the full um, you know metal back full not full metal but a metal spine carbon fiber on both sides simple pins none none of the brass finishings on the ends at all it is surprisingly lightweight and it has the single uh, blade that it's a little bit more uh, more of a utility blade, more useful to me. That, that was another thing I should have mentioned in my requirements. I wanted a blade that was a bit more um, modern. I would have preferred maybe a Bowie style blade, but a lot of the uh, slip joints you can buy, they're like this one. They're, and again, this one's not terrible, but they're very thin, thin blades. And I wanted something a little bit uh, with more uh, width to it. Okay, so this is what they call the sod buster. And let's see if I can focus this in. All right, a little hard to see, but item number 42941. Uh, you can see sod buster right here, carbon fiber. Um, looks like it was made in 2013. So yeah, just uh, here's a little box. I'm gonna make a comment on on this. I don't think I've never purchased one of these knives from Case. Um, uh, I may have some other older ones in my collection, but I've never specifically purchased a Case knife. I've given some presents, but okay. So out of the box, I mean. The box was kind of all beaten up. I always kind of hate this. If you're going to buy something and the vendor, seller doesn't treat the item as new or take care of it, and it just, you open it up and the box is like kind of half open and it's just kind of all crumpled in and kind of just showed up like that, kind of beaten up. I always get this really bad immediate impression, right? And so, the knife was just kind of wrapped up in, in a piece of paper. Let me switch back here. And then the knife was dirty out of the box. I've used it since and I've cleaned it up since, but it was just kind of dirty. So, and it wasn't the typical oil you get on uh, new knives, but just 
I'm big on first impressions with stuff I buy, and I've, I've spent my money, my hard earned money, on this knife, and the box is crushed and it's dirty. So, you know, I just that doesn't sit with me well. Okay, so about the actual knife. I'll say that it's a bit stiff. It is a two-handed knife, just like a, a traditional slip joint. And, but it, it is much more lightweight than I had expected. It has this little lip here, which I knew about before I bought it. It's, it's a bit sharp, but I haven't run into in it, it at all. Uh, it fits in your pocket extremely well. It doesn't protrude, protrude at all. Seems to be good finish. It's uh, it's okay sharpness wise. It's not dull out of the box, but it wasn't um, it was not razor sharp. And I would say more importantly, it ha it felt like there was some unevenness to the grind. You can run your finger across on one side right here. And it feels a bit abrasive, where a really sharp blade on both sides will be even, be smooth. You won't feel any particular difference in the blade. So, yeah, it needs to be sharpened to even that out. It's not, you know, it's not dull. Just a little bit. Kind of need some work done to it. <clears throat> uh, I have seen some newer knives coming out lately. Newer slip joints coming out from some, from some independent, uh, small beginning knife makers that are really cool um, but they've been extremely expensive so I'm gonna keep my eye on those and uh, maybe they'll uh, increase production and lower lower uh, price but that if you have any other ideas for modern slip joints that have lightweight materials don't have the big brass or metal finishings they're lighter weight they have carbon fiber or G10 perhaps titanium handle scales and then more of a normal modern knife blade as well thicker um, maybe a little more stylish than this one even um, but yeah keeping the same kind of overall profile again lightweight and smaller size that you can easily EDC so if you have any comments questions disagree with some of my viewpoints on this, uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment.